Hi hey everyone, it's Gary Nixon here for the Mountain Weather Information Service. This is your planning outlook video on Friday the 30th of November. Now, it's a generally unsettled story over the next week or more with areas of low pressure and frontal systems coming in from the Atlantic, so periods of rain and upland snow. Scottish mountains will be coldest throughout and staying sub-zero uh, over a good many days in succession, so snow will accumulate. Freezing levels a bit more varied for England and Wales. Complications in midweek as to exactly where the rain and snow boundary will be. Let's have a look at temperatures then. This is the 850 millibar level that we often show you. Now that level is currently found at around 4,000 to 4,500 feet, so it's 1,200 to say 1,400 metres over these days ahead, which means it's a pretty good fit for the highest tops in Scotland. And you're looking at around minus three, minus four at that level, with the freezing level down to say seven or 800 metres this weekend. England and Wales will see relatively uh, milder air in place and the freezing levels above the summits at this stage. As we go through into Monday though, we get uh, a push of somewhat colder air just being drawn around from the northwest. So in the Lake District, for example, you'll find it's uh, dropping down to around 900 metres where you find the freezing level. And in Scotland, it could be down to say 600 metres with the higher tops closer to minus four or minus five. A widespread frost into many of the valleys and glens is likely then into Tuesday with the mountains staying cold most of the way through. And really out of sunlight you'll see the terrain more or less frozen all the way through the day. The low sun at this time of year just can't get into some of the glens. Now interest into midweek because we've got a frontal system that will be coming in from the southwest and all bumping into that existing cold air and exactly where the mild and cold air boundaries are will dictate who sees snowfall potentially to quite low levels. So some complications into midweek and a long way to go with the absolute details before we get there so keep a close eye on your local forecasts. Let's skip through the synoptic charts then and this is Saturday with low pressure and a frontal system passing eastwards with rain, uh, maybe some snow on the very highest tops in the Lake District but I suspect it's mostly all rain and that will pass eastwards but will linger I suppose across northern England much of the day. For Scotland we've got some showers in the west with the driest conditions toward the northeast. It's all rather messy into Sunday and Monday. There's various pulses of energy just coming around from the Atlantic to give some areas of persistent rain and upland snow across the mountains. Most of it focused across more western regions, some of it spilling eastwards at times. And the wind's relatively light, but just watch for them strengthening, particularly, I suspect, across Wales, just as a southwesterly does pick up. So it's all a tangled mess into Monday with the zones of fronts and troughs just wrapped around areas of low pressure to give some zones of quite persistent rain or snow across the Scottish mountains. It may well be snow to practically glen level with the freezing levels down to 600 metres or so. Showers coming in to the west of England and Wales too will be increasingly of snow on the higher tops by this stage. As we go onwards into Tuesday, a brief build of pressure will just uh, suppress what's left of previous areas of showers from past days. There may still be a few which linger around northern Scotland, hard to get the absolute detail, not too much wind. The next interest is fronts coming up from the southwest, which look as though they start to edge in by Tuesday night. The difficulty for Tuesday really is to what extent we're left with areas of low cloud. Some places could be stuck with it, other places could break up quite well. So again, keep, keep an eye on your latest forecasts. And that's what we've got at the moment for Wednesday. Now, much could change with the development of this small area of low pressure. It's running its way gradually east and northeastwards. Fronts are moving into cold air. As we stand, you'd suggest the risk of snow is most likely across the south of Scotland, perhaps the North Pennines and the Lake District tops at this stage, whilst milder air gets into Wales and the Peak District and anything here just falls as rain. Any slight changes though in this and that boundary could shuffle a bit further northwards into the southern highlands more extensively, or it could even bring the snow level more widely down across the Pennines, perhaps even into Wales if that low eventually tracks a bit further south. The risk of wind strengthening too widely uh, perhaps to gale force, but that is open to question, much like the general detail. So again, watch your forecasts. So it leaves us with great difficulties as we go towards the later stages of the week, because it all depends largely on what happens in midweek and exactly where this little area of low pressure finally goes and what immediately follows it. Now, as we go onwards, what seems likely is that that low will sort of fade away and get dragged off towards Scandinavia. Pressure will briefly then build, but turn the airflow more southwesterly. So, say around Thursday into Friday, a brief lift of freezing levels might uh, push in quite widely. 
uh, as we go towards next weekend, the 8th and the 9th, the indications broadly favour low pressure passing eastwards again, could be just generally rather unsettled, a drop of freezing level coming back down and favouring the pattern going round more north by northwesterly and perhaps a more marked drop of freezing level once again. The charts that we're using here are really averaging out uh, a number of forecast solutions so they won't get the absolute detail of exactly what the shape of areas of high and low pressure are. They're averaging out uh, or and smoothing out some of the variability. What seems likely generally as we head just through next weekend and beyond is that uh, a low pressure system moves away towards eastern Scandinavia. A cold north northwesterly will have been in and pressure will have tried to build to the west of the British Isles perhaps briefly before onwards into that week of the 10th uh, it may be that the jet stream comes back in and low pressure systems over the Atlantic then swing in as we head towards mid-December that's the initial feel that we're getting in the slightly longer range so stay up to date with us here at the Mountain Weather Information Service all the forecasts for your local areas updated daily and we'll have this planning video again for you on Tuesday thanks for watching bye for now